Celebrating service in Nye County for 10 years, Desert View Hospital. Well, uh, we were doing a little exploring out in the desert, and um, uh, we just like hiking and finding, you know, you find all kinds of interesting things in the desert, and well, today we definitely did that. Uh, we were walking around, found some bones on the ground. Common thing in the desert to find bones, you know. But uh, the one that was strange was uh, one with a, a ball kind of thing on the end of it. And I examined it more, and it looked like, uh, like a hip replacement or something like that. It was permanently mounted in the bone, and that's when I knew it probably wasn't an animal bone. I know that you um, want to be a taxidermist, that, uh, that you're going to school right now, and the thing that you seem to be familiar with the types of bones and what's going on, but this one had a unique difference. It did. So we first we found one bone. It, it was at first I was, he, Zach found it, and at first I was kind of just like, man, it's just it's it's a long skinny piece of bone. Like it was nothing too exciting. So I just I we just dis discarded it. Like there's I have plenty of those. Yeah. And then you know we we kind of start looking around a little bit more, debating whether or not we just want to go back to the car. And then we're just like, okay, let's just look around a little bit more. We happen to just walk a little bit further and find two more bones. They were significantly larger than the first one. Um, one had a a ball metal ball joint attached to it, and we were kind of kind of concerned about it. We were thinking it's nothing that looks like taxidermist work. Like it's just very very interesting. So and it, it's about femur size. Like it looked like it might have been a hip replacement. So I search hip repla hip replacements on my phone on Google. Look up images, and it, the images were exactly like what we saw. So that's when we got concerned, and we contacted the cops. Called the sheriff's department. Uh, sheriff came out, and uh, first thing he did, he looked at it. He says, "Well, that's interesting." Uh, and we kind of knew probably something something wasn't right. There's like some kind of a abandoned structures out there. Tell me about that. Uh, there are a lot of abandoned structures out there. I, I think uh, homeless folks that try to, to make shelters for themselves. Uh, we find a lot of interesting things out there. And so these ones look like there was people that were staying in them at one time. So right now we don't know if there's foul play or if this is a natural death, but it was in close proximity, but not exactly where the homes were at. Well, the bones were in a little bit of a drainage ditch. So they, the police had actually gone up the mountain a little bit to uh, check out the drainage ditch to see if they had washed down. They were suspecting that maybe they had washed down. So did you see any skull? No skull. We looked around uh, trying to find any other pieces or parts to, to help the police before they got there and uh, couldn't find anything else. Three bones is what we found. So um, no other um, remains, no clothing or any identification? There were uh, no clothing, no, no other signs of life or, or, or anything for that matter besides the three bones that were there.